Hey everyone, all right, so in today's video, we are doing some flexi rotted waves. This look is perfect for a date night, a night out with the girls even, or even Valentine's Day, and that's that's in like another month or so. So this, I think this is perfect, and it's right on time. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, definitely keep on watching. So the wig comes from Hermosa Hair. Um, I believe I worked with them before, I'm not sure, but thank you Hermosa for sponsoring today's video. This is a 5x5 five five five, 24 inch 200% density wig. The knots are super small so they're perfect for bleaching. The inside is a standard factory cap and it comes with this comb that is not useful at all. Stop putting these combs in the wigs. But even so, the wig itself is super full. I washed it, bleached the knots, and I added a band into the wig. And here I'm just going to show you all how I got those waves. So I'm going in with my wand curler. And you can find this wand on Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon store if you're interested. So I'm going to use the wand first. I'm going to curl a few sections of the hair, kind of just wave, wave it and create a pattern a little bit. And then after that, I'm going in with a large flexi rod just to hold that wave pattern until I'm ready to pretty much wear the unit. And I'll show you later on in the video what I do to kind of like fluff the curls or whatnot. But yeah, so all I typically do is just use the wand curler to create my wave pattern or my curl pattern. And then I'm going to use a large flexi rod to just hold that hold the pattern in place and if you are having trouble like creating waves with a wand curler the best way that I can explain it is you kind of twist the hair as you wrap it around the barrel of the wand curler to create waves now if you were trying to do curls with a wand curler you would have to lay it flat around the barrel and I'll explain more in a later video if you guys are interested in more of like an in-depth tutorial but I'm pretty much just wrapping the hair and twisting it as I go to create waves because that's what I'm going for I don't want curls I want nice sultry fluffy waves and I know I may get a question as far as where you can find flexi rods you could get them at Sally's or any local beauty supply store I like to use the um, medium and large flexi rods. I believe that they're one and a half or one and one fourth inches um, big. So yeah, that's typically what I use to achieve these, these looks that I've been putting out. But yeah, so I went ahead and I took down the flexi rods in this clip and now I am just separating the waves just to kind of fluff them out and help the the waves just drop a little bit more because they are on the tight side right now. When they're when they, when the hair comes out of the flexi rods, it's going to be super tight. But gradually, gravity is going to do its thing and the hair is going to fall into place. So I'm not going to wear the unit just yet. I'm going to let it fall, let the curls fall a little bit, let the waves fall into the pattern that I desire and you're going to see that in the following clip of you know how the hair looks once it has fallen into the nice subtle waves that I want. So I didn't notice how dark this video was but I was pretty much trying to show you guys like a few minutes after pulling apart the curls how they had already fallen and I'm pretty much ready to wear the unit so I'll be installing this unit on camera for you guys I'm going to be using the elastic band for security I'm using my little mini shears to cut the lace and pop that bad boy right on my head like so I'm already loving how the the unit looks but the main thing that I like to work on is the lace because it is transparent and it gives off a white cast. Go in with your contour shade or a darker shade of foundation, maybe one shade darker, just to help, you know, blend that lace in. So as you guys can see, it's blended. It looks a lot more natural and it's not giving off that white cast. So let me go ahead and slow it down a little bit, give you guys some slow-mo action so that you guys can get into this 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 look like the waves are so pretty i'm very happy with the outcome and the fact that the hair held the waves that i put in it so well one of the main things that i love about five by five closure wigs is the simple fact that you can wear it without any glue no adhesive necessary no lace gel no spray and you can just throw it, throw it on and take it off as you please 
One of the things I do have to mention is that the knots, although they were small, I did have to bleach them twice. I went in with 40 volume developer the first time, but the second go I used 50 and I was able to bleach them to my liking. It's not a big deal, but it was something that I, I actually noticed. So I decided to mention it just so that you are aware. This is the wig in its natural color. I did not dye the hair at all. I can appreciate how dark the hair is as it just makes the waves look super, super luscious. I'll leave the link to this wig in the description so that you all can check it out. And if there are any coupons available, it'll be there. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.